I'm Jessica Conrad, one of the patent specialists. As a speech language pathologist who has written hundreds of IEPs, looking back, there are a few things I wish I had known about print disability and accessible educational materials. Do you know any students who, when they try to read themselves, struggle with the comprehension questions, but if the same passage was read aloud, they could answer with much greater accuracy? If you answered yes, it may suggest that student has a print disability and would benefit from accessible educational materials. First, we need to acknowledge there is a very strong and well-documented relationship between language, speech, and literacy. Some students on our caseload may have, in addition to an eligibility of speech or language impairment, a print disability. So what is a print disability? First, print disability isn't an eligibility area under the law, like language impairment or developmental delay. Rather, a case conference committee considers a student with an IEP also is eligible as a student with a print disability. If that student has a print disability, they need accessible educational materials. Remember my question about the student who comprehends better if someone reads aloud to them? There are materials and technology that might support that student's independent access to literacy. These are called Accessible Educational Materials, or AIM. At the end of this video, I'll share some resources to learn more about AIM and the ICAM, the Indiana Center for Accessible Materials. To be found eligible as a student with a print disability, the Case Conference Committee must be able to answer yes to one or more of the following statements. The student has an IEP as a student with blindness or low vision. The student with an IEP has a physical limitation that impairs their ability to access standard print material. For example, they cannot turn pages, physically manage a book, or sit for prolonged periods of time. The student with an IEP has a reading disability that may affect a student's ability to decode, read with fluency, comprehend, or a combination of these, which renders them unable to read print to the same degree as a person without a reading disability. A reading disability is not the result of insufficient instruction or not being exposed to a literacy-rich environment. Reading disability is not an eligibility under Indiana's Article 7. Having a reading disability means there is strong evidence of the persistence of the disability despite intensive targeted instruction. Their difficulty may be in learning letters or letter sounds, difficulty in learning sight words, or difficulty in phoneme blending. These three statements described at least 10 of my students on my caseload any given year, and it was my responsibility to discuss the possibility of identifying those students as having a print disability with my case conference committee. In all these cases, there is no automatic eligibility. The case conference committee needs to reflect on the data they have on reading, medical records, therapy logs, and any other reports to determine if the student is eligible as having a print disability. A student of any eligibility area could have a print disability. Factors like IQ, district adoption of te digital textbooks, and whether the student can read at all yet have no bearing on if a student may have a print disability and need for accessible educational materials. Your school district may have procedures and policies in place around identifying students with print disabilities. All of Indiana public pre-K-12 schools have access to the ICAM for questions and support. They have developed forms, resources, and an instructional guide to navigate case conferences. This may be a lot of new information for you, but Patents and the ICAM are here to help. You can learn more about print disabilities, accessible educational materials, and the ICAM by going to their page on the Patents website at patentsproject.org backslash ICAM backslash ICAM. That's p-a-t-i-n-s project.org backslash I-C-A-M backslash I-C-A-M.